Hey there, Angie Wagler for a rise down the two minute wake up call. Well, here I am in the doorway of one of our bedrooms. Yes, and it is a bit of a mess right now. We're in the midst of transforming this room. Yes, so it's got some things in it that need to be moved out, cleaned up, and because uh, this bedroom is actually going to be Paul in my bedroom, so we're going to move in here. So we've brought in some new finds, some new purchases. We're going to repurpose some old things, and we have some Kijiji finds as well. And I'm kind of excited about it all because I have a design in mind. I can see how this room is going to all come together. It's going to be beautiful, going to be functional, functional, and it's going to just be a great place to come and relax and unwind. And, uh, and I'm excited about it. You know, we're going to take some things like this uh, old... Uh, can you see here sleigh bed that is beat up and I was out today and I bought some fabric to recover it and I'm excited I'm excited about that you know and it got me thinking it got me thinking about how sometimes I can be a bit of a mess maybe you can be a bit of a mess too in our lives and and how God has a design in mind he's got some plans in mind how to transform us to be beautiful and practical and um, and to fit with how he's made us to be, what he's called us to do, you know? And so I'm just, you know, I'm reminded of that as I'm working at transforming this room, how God transformed us. You know, in Jeremiah 18, um, Jeremiah says that God had said, I'm the potter and you're the clay. You know, he's into transforming. He's into changing, you know. And if you're feeling like a little bit of a mess, like this room or or um, this bed that I'm going to recover, you know, he wants to um, work in your life. Yeah, he wants to work in your life to transform you into something beautiful. Well, something for you to think on. And until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.